वेलकम टू द प्रोजेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ एंटी थेफ्ट फ्लोरिंग सिस्टम मीन्स वेन एवर अ पर्सन ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस द डोर देन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड ओ टी पी बेस्ड एक्सेस सिस्टम फॉर दैट पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग टू मेजर मॉड्यूल्स वन इज एच सी जीरो फाइव ब्लूटूथ मॉड्यूल टू रीड द ओ टी पी पासवर्ड फ्रॉम द मोबाइल फोन एप्लीकेशन एंड जी एस एम मॉड्यूल टू सेंड द ओ टी पी टू द रजिस्टर्ड फोन नंबर्स so here we are demonstrating with one phone number in real time we can store the n number of phone numbers as the family phone numbers into this arduino uno board so here we are using this flooring system so whenever a person trying to access the door then he will stand in front of the door then the system will detect the person standing on this floor and the system will send the otp to the registered phone number and uh, we need to enter the same otp from your bluetooth mobile phone application which will provide that and uh, when the password matches with the otp uh, which you enter from this one uh, a bluetooth application then system will unlock the door with help of this electromagnetic uh, door locking system using this electromagnetic relay so here the major components we are providing 12 volts one amp power supply from this adapter to this arduino uno board then uh, we have interface the gsm module to send the otp whenever the flooring uh, system detect the person and this one is a bluetooth module uh, which is 05 and lcd display to display the status uh, while we are execution of the project and this electromagnetic online lock and this one is the electromagnetic relay so these are the major components in our project so we have interface the gsm module at pin number 8 and 9 pin number 227 for the lcd screen 0 and 1 for this hc05 bluetooth module pin number 10 for this relay to control the electromagnetic relay so let us see demonstration so before demonstration first of all we need to install a serial bluetooth terminal application from the play store and uh, then so right already we have paid from the settings now i am unpairing that for demonstration so now after installing the application the next step is we need to insert a valid sim card into the gsm module as is shown here so push and backward you can uh, open this door place the sim card the notch should be this side and it should be in this manner only if you have the sim with the bigger adapter directly insert into this and after that gently close this and lock so this particular sim card should have the sms balance or main balance and we should use uh, airtel vi or bsnl other than the uh, jio sim card because jio sim card uh, won't uh, work as the 4g or uh, 3g so it is a lte sim card and you don't get the signal here now on the power supply to this adapter so once we on the power supply first of all first step wait till this particular blue led blinks slowly so initial it blinks very fast right now it is slow down that is indication of sim card got the signal so if doesn't get any uh, slow blinking rate after time being then check the sim card position this is very very important after we switch on the kit then after go to bluetooth settings of your phone bluetooth settings directly and search for a new module and uh, there we get the hc05 so we should pair from the settings initially means it should be there in our history next time onwards directly you can go to the application only that's 1 2 3 4 is a initial password right so it is there in our history next time directly you can go to this application and go to options and here devices hc05 so connecting right is connected so after connecting from this application we can see the bluetooth blinking auto also slow down right after these settings now we can execute the project next step so when the person is standing on this platform you can see sending otp to the registered phone number as we'll get the otp into my number right so i got the please enter otp 2809 so now i can enter the 2809 otp so the timer also is running so we kept the timer for 60 seconds in real time we can go with the 40 for uh, 30 seconds as of now to send the sms sometimes it will take 10 seconds sometimes it will take 2 seconds that's why we kept the duration of 60 seconds so in the 60 seconds before the 60 seconds completion we should enter the otp otherwise it will entering into the locked mode directly then it won't get a uh, message read any time now just i am sending the otp now here so after otp sent unlocked and we can see that it was unlocked so once again we can see now here uh, enter otp is 
280 next time let us see that now don't no, we'll check into the without entering the password sending OTP <coughs> so we got the OTP now I'm not going to enter any OTP so if I enter the wrong OTP also say I'm entering the wrong OTP so OTP wrong and it's keep on waiting for that one so if uh, 60 seconds time duration completed then it will enter into the locked mode and it won't read this uh, flooring also and it won't read the password from the Bluetooth and it won't send an SMS only it will send the final message of alert intruder detected so that's the message we are going to receive at the final yep. so it tossed alert now it is sending the message to the ratio of phone numbers as indication of right now it is logged so we have received the message of intruder alert message so we have received this message intruder system logged so now it won't read anything see it was logged again in order to unlock that just reset the system so the reset system or do you know So now it is again monitoring and reading the OTP and done.